Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful tutu. Great for photo shoots or um, a Halloween costume. Um, this is going to be one solid piece of tool and I do use a sewing machine to make this. This would be considered a beginner project so if you have a basic understanding of how to use a sewing machine then you can definitely make this. I'll be using one solid sheet of tool and I will be feeding it into the machine on the folded edge. So when you buy your tool on the bolt, it's folded once. So where there's a raw edge, we're going to be folding we're going to be sewing on the other side where there's a folded edge as I'm showing here. So there are ways to do the gathering. Um, some people like to sew all the way down the tool and then pull a thread. But because this is 10 meters, that would be, I think, absolutely ridiculous. So a really, really simple and easy way to do this, and you wouldn't even notice because there's just so much tool, is we're just going to feed it into the machine. So you're going to sew a little bit and then push up the tool into the little, into the presser foot. So while you're gathering, you sew about an inch, you gather again, you sew about an inch. Probably takes about 15 minutes to get through the entire 10 meters if you choose to use that much. But um, I think it is way less stressful and you know you will be swimming in a sea of tool if you did it any other way. So I'm making this for my daughter and she's four years old so it actually works out that the tool is the perfect length from her hip to the ground. Um, you could use this as an adult but it would be shorter if, you, um, you know, if you're okay with that. So I'm going to continue sewing until I have 44 inches of gathered tool and here's how it looks once it's all gathered. And then I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to fold it in half and then that will be 22 inches. I'm just going to take my sewing clips and clip them, clip it together just to keep it all nice while I work on the waistband. So I just went and bought some jersey knit. You can get it in um, the same color as your tutu or you know I got white doesn't really matter um, so I'm going to cut a 3 inch by 23 inch strip and I will be folding this in half and I will have a ribbon going through it so I really like this because it's nice and soft and stretchy just making sure I have the right um, length so I'm going to be working on a lining um, you don't need to have a lining I have made this tutu and omitted the lining but because this tool yeah the tool was a little it was light so you could see through it and I didn't want to see her legs and it also wasn't as pink as I would like so I bought some pink lining which is really really cheap and I cut a 27 by 44 inch piece and I'm going to sew down the side that is 44 inches long with a base stitch which is um, a very long stitch so put your machine to the longest stitch length which mine is I think like five millimeters and then you're just going to take one of the threads from the ends and then just pull down the fabric um, with the lining it's really really slippery so it's very easy to do and you're going to measure as you go so that you make sure that you have 22 inches after it's been gathered. So now we're going to take all the pieces and put them together. So I have my tutu and then I'm going to put the lining along the waist. And then I will attach my waistband which will be folded in half. I really love these clips and they do hold quite well. I got them off of eBay. All the links for all the fabrics and stuff like that will be um, over at my blog so all those links will be in the description box below so you know what exactly to buy. So I'm just going to fold this in half 
place it underneath my clips. So the lining will be on the outside, then the tutu, and then the waistband on top of the tool. So if you choose not to do a lining, then you know don't worry about the lining and just make sure that the waistband is on the tool. So every inch or so I'm just going to put another clip just to make sure everything is nicely secured and all the layers are brought up. It's a little bit tricky but if you take your time and do it nicely then you'll end up with a very nice seam. We're going to do it this way just because once it's been sewn then the flip the uh, waistband is going to flip up and then you won't see that seam and then you will put your ribbon through the through the waistband to complete that part. So it is a lot of layers but because this tool the machine can handle it. Um, I haven't broken a needle or anything so yeah pretty easy. Just make sure as you're sewing along the waistband that you're tucking the um, the lining or the extra tool underneath, making sure that you don't catch it. And then you're moving the clips as you go along, or your pins. gonna go to the very end and from here if you wanted to complete it then after you put your elastic in you could just sew the waistband together um, just bring them together and sew it of course there will be open tool in the back but unless you want to you know just do a zigzag stitch and bring the tool together you can do that you can leave it open there's so much tool that you're not gonna really notice it much um, but, you know, or you could just sew the lining together just so that you don't have, you know, people looking at your legs and stuff like that. But because I'm doing this with my ribbon, um, I wanted it to, so that I could put it on multiple people, multiple little girls and stuff like that for my photos. So, you know, every little girl has a different waist. So I didn't want to just have one size. I wanted to be able to tie it around her and make sure it fits nicely. And then if you know the little girl's too small, you know I could just cinch up the ribbon. And if she's bigger, then you know it might be open in the back, but you're still gonna have this beautiful tutu in the front, and you won't even notice. So I'm just going to put my ribbon with a large safety pin all the way through the casing that I created with the waistband. If you're going to be doing it with a elastic band, you're going to do the exact same thing. But then when you are done with the elastic band, you're going to sew the elastic together. I left a really long tail on this ribbon so that, you know, I don't lose it again. And there's just... If you use a really pretty ribbon, like I'm just using whatever because I don't really care, um, then you can use it as like a bow in the back. You know, you could have a nice thick ribbon if you want. So I'm just going to insert some pictures at the end of my daughter wearing another one that I made. It's beautiful and burgundy. Um, it turned out amazing in photos. Um, if you do decide to make this, I would love to see it. So follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page, all that stuff. Um, I would love to connect with you and see what you guys have done and if you've used any different colors I would love to see. Um, you can definitely decorate this in any way possible. I made this cute little tank top to go with it which I will also have a little tutorial to show you how to do that. It makes it look like a full complete dress but it actually isn't which is great. Um, if you want to jazz it up with some um, you know gems and pearls and all kinds of things like this is a really good basic little tutu dress. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Head on over to my blog to see all the um, the stuff that I, you know, all the stuff I use. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you make this for Halloween, I would love to see what you've done. 
for your little girl or for you. All right, see you guys later. Bye, guys.